Hello, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing the first scrapbook layout I made after we moved back into our house and I'm so excited. I'm playing with some new goodies that I bought probably a year ago and then you know we had to pack up the whole house and move out because we had a flood and it took months and months for them to repair everything and we were living in hotels and it was a whole uh, mess that was not not very fun, but it feels so good to be back in our home and to have a home and to finally be back in my happy place doing my happy activities. So the first thing I start off with are some gorgeous photographs of me and my kitty cat. My cat and our bunny had stayed with my best friend while we were living in a hotel because it just would have been really impractical if not impossible to have them with us in hotels. We brought our dog with us to the hotel because that was a little bit easier but was so grateful they were able to take care of them. Unfortunately that also meant that we could only see them like I don't know once every two weeks that we usually go over to their house because they lived quite um quite a far way away from where we were staying at in our hotels. So we didn't get to see the pets very often and definitely miss them so, so much. And these photographs are some of the first ones I took after we brought our animals back home. We moved back home and then a few days after we moved in and had moving trucks bring our stuff back, I went and picked up the bunny and the cat and brought them home and it was just so wonderful. It was so good to have all of us home and reunited and could definitely tell how happy they were. So I've got these gorgeous photographs documenting that moment. I also used a new stencil there with that gorgeous rainbow. I thought that would be perfect. Not only is it like a girly element, but it's also got those florals in the rainbow, which match my dress. And I felt like it just went with the wonderful energy of these photographs. Unfortunately, however, when my white modeling paste dried, it took on the color of the background paper, which is a very light pink. And I just felt like that stencil wasn't popping enough. I matted my photos with some white cardstock and I was thinking about doing pattern paper mats after that. And I just felt like the rainbow was getting lost. So I grabbed some white thick body acrylic paint and I go over my stencil impression with paint and a fine paintbrush there. And I think you can see that really makes a huge difference. After I do that, the stencil really pops and looks gorgeous, which I love. I wanted that to be a really big element on the page. So Love how that turned out. And sometimes paying attention to those fine details really makes all the difference. It's quite a bit of work to go back over a stencil and paint it with a fine line paintbrush, <laughs> but it really, really adds something to the page. And whenever a layout comes together like this, I feel like it is a labor of love, like very much worth it, but it did take work. It took intentionality. So happy with how that turned out. And then I find a gorgeous two, actually two different pattern papers that I'm going to use to layer up behind uh, the white cardstock that I had already matted my photographs with. One of them was a floral pattern that brought in a little bit of dark green and I loved the way that popped with the colors in my photograph and the very subtle background paper that I have, which is like a light pink lined notebook paper style in a 12 by 12 size. And then I also had a beige scalloped one that I used after that. And I think they just add a little bit, you know, like they make the photographs stand up a little bit and they contrast a little bit with the photos to bring out some of those colors, but not too much. The focus is very much still on the photographs. And now the stencil, and now that I'm grabbing some chipboards, I think really the chipboards are stealing the show, which is fine because those chipboards are 
gorgeous and it is my very first time using this set since I purchased it. I think I bought this back when I was in grad school, which was, I guess I graduated almost a year ago and I haven't had the chance to use them because I was so busy in school doing school stuff and then I graduated and then we got married and the house flooded and we moved out for four months and I started my career and basically just our first year of marriage was like a whirlwind of a bunch of things happening all the time and a lot of change happening. So Needless to say, being back in my happy place, doing my comfort hobby, it just feels much, much needed. It's like a grounding and centering effect for me. Like, ah, I can breathe again. This is who I am. This is what I love to do. (laughs) It's a really great feeling. So happy about being able to use up some of those goodies, that stencil and those chipboards for the very first time since I bought them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and they really go with the feminine energy that I was aiming for on this page. Love how that turned out. I also added a doodle border, although I noticed my pen died. So I had to go back over it with another marker. Uh, And then I'm auditioning some different colored inks. I want to do some light pink stamping, kind of just to add another texture background element to the page. But none of my stamps were really the right color that I was going for. So what I ended up doing was stamping out several different colors and their impressions, which are like you know, the second and third time you stamp with it after you've inked it up. And I really liked how one of the colors looked after I had uh, inked it and stamped it one time. So the following impressions, the second, third time. And you can see I use a little scrap piece of paper there to stamp off the first time after I ink it up. And then I go over on three different spots on my page with that XO stamp and the remaining impressions of inking it. And I really like how that looked. I think it's gorgeous and subtle and just adds kind of like a mixed media feel to the page and an artsy feel to the page. Now I'm auditioning out an Allie Edwards stamp that says loving this because I really was loving that moment and loving this story and all the different components of it. These photographs were really special and this time was really special of finally being back with our animals and having them home and everybody settling into the fact that we have a home. It was really strange to feel like we did not have one for such a long period of time. So I'm playing around with some different embellishments there. I think there were a few different spots I could have added that loving this heart stamp, but I ended up going with below my photographs there. I think it looks really cute. It also would have looked really cute on the bottom left corner of the page. Then I am grabbing some white acrylic stars. These are ones I made following a DIY tutorial for shrink wrap. Is it shrink wrap? Shrinky dink paper. Uh, It's like plastic paper that you can color and then you put in the oven and it shrinks it down and turns it into like this plastic texture. So I've got some stars like that that I want to use up and I think they look really gorgeous on this page. I also try out a couple of different pens to see what kind of thickness I want my journaling to be. And I think that's a great tip uh, for people if you don't already do that. If you're particular about your pens like I am and uh, the balance of a page like I am, this can be a really great thing to do is just test out some of your different weights of pens. So like a 0.7 millimeter, a 0.5 millimeter. One of my favorites is my 0.35 or 0.38 millimeter. It's like the smallest uh, pen tip that they make. And uh, yeah, try them all out and see which which thickness of line looks best with that page for the different colors you have going on. In this page, I had that Life is Lovely black title. I also had a black stamp and I had some uh, black doodle borders. I also knew I wanted to add something up to that 
top left hand corner where there's a box that says title I knew I wanted to add like a bold black title up there so I went with a medium thickness black pen for my journaling. I felt like it wouldn't be too much black, but it would also even up the very heavy weighted black that I wanted to put on the top of the page. I lay down some white sticker letters to spell out Bender and Laura. Bender is our cat's name and I am Laura, if you do not know. And then I grab this gorgeous alphabet stamp set that I've had in my stash for a long time. I love using this alphabet stamp set. Uh, And I write out the word adore. And initially, I thought I was going to do a title that says adore you because I adore my cat and was so happy to have him home and be home with him. But after stamping out a door, I kind of laid down the Y-O-U and decided it would be too much, too much black on the page. So I kept it simple and just did a door as my title. And then I'm going to go through some different enamel dots and enamel sticker shapes and see how I can add some sprinkly bits throughout my page. I also added a subtitle up to the top there above my date that says Bender and Mom, and it's so weird to look at. I call myself Mom to my pets, like, I'm Mama, like, come see Mama, Mama's got food, but for some reason, seeing it, like, written down out of, like, my own pen and my handwriting, it, like calling myself mom. It feels weird. I think uh, I'm so used to doing layouts for other people who have uh, children, kids, <laughs> like actual human babies, that I tend to associate the word mom when I write it with that. Uh, even though in language, I use it for like, come see mama, even though you're a dog, I am your mom. And apparently that's one of my quirks. It feels weird to write the word mom in reference to myself. As my last little bit on the page, I add some gorgeous light pink enamel stars down and they're actually puffy stars, not enamel. And they're gorgeous. I think they just pull in the clear acrylic stars and the pink acrylic stars that I have put down on the page already, which I use my tiny attacher to attach. And then I also went back through with some black enamel dots and sprinkled them in various places throughout the page. And I think that's just gorgeous. It has that pop of deep black. And I really love how this layout turned out. I think it's got such an organic feel to it and such a feminine energy about it. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous and definitely documented a very special time and gorgeous photographs and just a really good memory of what it was like to move back into the house, finally have all of our pets back together. It just felt like our family was reunited. It was such a great memory, and I'm really glad to have it documented. Thank you so much for watching this layout process video with me. I hope it gave you inspiration so that you can go and make something lovely and get the same feeling from it uh, that I got from making this page, which is just contentment. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my scrap room adventures. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.